the end of Vlad being red. Hey y'all, welcome to Hayden Custom Engines. So, this is the home base, and this is my 1960 Chevy Impala. Um, I had a 60 Bel Air when I was in high school, and I s foolishly got rid of it, and I've spent about 25 years trying to find a car to replace it. And we found this car uh, about five years ago, uh, locally, and it was a pretty good deal, and ended up picking it up and been working on it ever since. And it's come time that I'm really sick of the crummy red paint. And so last year I painted the top. I, it looks good from 10, 15 feet away. Um, it's just Tractor Supply International Harvester white paint. Um, Cause we had some left over from painting a international tractor um, and so this year what I want to do is just scuff it and I'm gonna shoot it in a matte black because I think it'll look better than this faded nasty kind of red and it'll be easy to touch up when I do fix body issues you know this car is it's a survivor um, the engines never actually been out from between the frame rails but it's a four-door sedan so it, it's probably not really the kind of car that's worth a $40,000 restoration, but it's a really good running, driving car. It's worth fixing up for sure. So that's kind of what we're up to is we're going to fix it up. It's never going to be a back to 100%. You know, it, it's just not that kind of a car. Um, we're going to, at this point, kind of scuff it up and just we're going to shoot over the rust shoot over the things that need to be fixed at the moment um yeah uh, we have a parts car for it that has better doors and a better trunk lid and i'm figuring the the semi-gloss black will be relatively easy to match if i change a door later or if i make a repair or whatever and it'll just be easier to maintain and it'll look decent this just looks pretty crummy so Follow along and you'll see what has. Well, you'll see how it ends up. I am also of the color of black.
hours of taping. We're taking the bumper off so we don't have to tape that. Trash bags cut open to go over the wheels. back to Hayden Custom Engines. So, after three days, this is where we are now. Uh, we switched the trunk lid off of the parts car. We got 
one of the jets off the parts car. I was able to find enough clips to put the jet on the other side. Um, and you know, it's not perfect, but it's a hundred percent improvement over the way the car did look. It's completely presentable. You can roll up to a car show and not feel like you're driving, you know, some hoop that you just drug out of a junkyard. And, and how much was the cost of the paint? The whole thing, you know, paint, the reducer, I don't know, hundred under a hundred bucks. Now, you know, you gotta have a spray gun, you gotta have a compressor, there's some other things you have to have, but you know, if you've got that stuff, you can do this relatively cheap with tractor supply paint. And it may not be the most durable stuff in the world, but it's so much better. This was totally worth it. It was time well spent. I love the car. It'll be easy to touch it up, you know, when I'm doing body work or changing doors off the other car or whatever. This is, this was absolutely the right move for this car. Y'all have a great one. Keep wrenching.